In this tutorial we're going to go through a brief just kind of simplified explanation of UV mapping and UV unwrapping an object. Um, first of all you should understand that for most objects most time and most of the time when you add um, an object when you've created an object you'll kind of have to do the UV unwrapping yourself but by default when we enter into Blender or when we use one of its just primitive shapes like a cube or or the UV sphere um, it's actually already UV unwrapped so if we go to this UV editing tab over here and we select our entire cube you can see that there are six squares laid out here flat uh, this is not a 3D space this is just a two-dimensional space over here so we only have an X axis and a Y axis and um, basically what this represents here it's as if we had sliced our cube up in order to lay the shape flat on a table and that's a good way to think of UV unwrapping something so the idea here is that we could now take this XY two-dimensional space over here and we could bring in an image that we want to wrap around the cube somehow. We've flattened the cube and we're dealing with a flat image, a two-dimensional JPEG or a PNG or something like that. Um, so that's basically what UV unwrapping is for, is to allow us to take a two-dimensional image and wrap it around a three-dimensional shape, a three-dimensional form. Um, and you can see by default, my default cube here it's already unwrapped but for a lot of shapes we end up having to do that ourselves and in this instance we're actually going to have to unwrap this differently which is it's actually the same process unwrapping for the first time or unwrapping a second time to change the way it's unwrapped so let's get to it um, what I really want to do here oh I shouldn't have done that because this is a workspace we'll change this back to a UV editor there we go go back to our layout. What I want to do here is I want to make a cereal box and that's a pretty simple uh, UV unwrapping job because it's still basically just a cube. It's just it's elongated. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this cube into roughly a cereal box shape. I'm going to scale it in the Y axis, SY, and scale it in the X axis, X, SX, and that's probably still a little thick in Y. I think that looks like a decent um, a decent cereal box shape. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and actually create my material. And this isn't the order you have to do things in. This is the order I like to do things in. So I'm going to go to my shading uh, workspace here. And I already have my principled shader applied here. Uh, because this is my default cube and it comes with a material. Um, if I had added this primitive just whole cloth from from my add menu then it would not have a shader already but um, I'm assuming you already know how to make this material in place. Uh, uh, so I'm going to add a an image to it and I can do that either through the nodes or just I can click my base color input over here choose an image texture it gives me my nodes here and from there I actually already have my cereal box pieces unwrapped PNG and you can see that that has uh, mapped it onto the cereal box but not well and you may have noticed I've got two versions of this in here so just for this tutorial I made a version that has text written on it I can swap them out later they're otherwise identical but let's open those up. So here's the cereal box pieces unwrapped um, with text. And you can see I've got the back, the top, the front, the sides, and the bottom all labeled here. Just to make it visually a little easier to kind of track what's going on here. And you can see when we look at our cereal box here, um, we can actually see the front incorrectly mapped, but it's actually on the back. I, I tap one on my numpad to go to a front perspective viewport and I'm looking at the back of the cereal box so we've got some fixing to do and that's okay um, so now that I've put this image texture in we'll be able to see a preview of kind of what's going on so I can tab into edit mode here 
um, sorry let's go over to our UV editing space I can tab into edit mode and let's get a material preview so that I can see what's going on and um, part of the problem that we have here is that this box is not sliced correctly um, so that's why I've labeled my my images here I can see let's just clear out these guides here I can see that my front the front of the box is still connected all the way to the top of the box all the way across the top of the front there's no tear but the sides the top of the sides and the top of the top are all torn those pixels should be touching if this were a 3d form but they're not here likewise we're not torn here but we are torn wrapped uh, ripped unwrapped whatever you want to call it here so this kind of gives me a little bit of a guide so if I'm looking at the front of my cube here I can go into edge select mode and I can select the edges that should be torn this one right here I can look at my image I can see that that should not be ripped so I'm going to select all the edges that should be disconnected from each other be ripped and just like that I believe I have all of the edges selected that I need so from here I can go to my edge menu and I can click mark seam and those seams are marked so if I now select everything and tap my U key or go to the UV menu I can just click unwrap and that changes how the unwrapping is working and you can see over here that this let's move it to the side since we're orange on orange this is still not oriented correctly but it is now the right shape and you'll see what I mean in a minute so let's go back to our material preview and I'm going to use my same transform tools in this 2D space as I use in 3D space so I'm going to tap R to rotate tap 90 on the number pad and let's see do I have my screencast keys on I do okay um, so now I can kind of move this into space and you can see that the front of my box now has part of the front of the image on it so from here um, since these things are already perfectly level and perfectly vertical I'm just going to use my box select tool B and then I'm going to you constrain my axis so GY to move this all the way to the bottom there select and deselect GY I'm going to line up these horizontal lines where they should go first GY and you can see that's starting to come into shape properly there now I'm going to align the vertical lines with GX because I'm moving them in the X axis GX okay and the box is now labeled correctly front side back bottom top everything is looking good and we can of course zoom in here once we've selected GX we can really get pixel accurate if we want to for the purposes of this tutorial I don't know that we need to necessarily but that box is now UV unwrapped and that data um, for your information is stored here in the object data properties if I look under UV maps there is one called UV map and you can store multiple UV maps within an item but that's a little beyond the scope of what we're going to do today um, but I can now look at a rendered view of this object and I can see that it is correctly mapped now what if I want to get rid of this text well that's easy as it turns out I can just go back to my shading um, workspace and where I've got serial box pieces unwrapped with text.png open here in my image node I can just click open and I can choose 
the version without text and the UV map is still accurate the image is the same size so that swaps out perfectly and I'm done unwrapping so that is a very basic intro to UV mapping in Blender I hope this helps and have a great day